I'm going to show you something interesting, something unique and something priceless. So this is my very own variegated Ryuhondo Extreptophila. This is just a unique, um, I don't know if it's a mutation or it just happened. I've been keeping the this variety for more than three years. This is one of my early hybrids. Uh, I bought this plant. Uh, it was tagged before as just Renee's hybrid. I got this from Puente Spina. In, they have this store or walling. It's somewhere on Cedar Hills. So it used to be just an ordinary green plant. But eventually... Several uh, generations uh, past uh, past several gener oh, sorry I'm starting to mumble past uh, several generations I was able to it was able to produce a solitary pop that shows very striking variegation and this is something worth keeping so I was hoping that eventually when it grows a whole lot bigger. I will be able to get some nice looking pops as well. By the way, if you wonder how I was, how I was able to uh, grow plants from a green ordinary looking plants to have variegation, actually I guess it's something that uh, it must be from the genes. Because right now I was, uh, as I check my plants, something uh, interesting is also happening from the same batch. I think this is also uh, this is also Rihondo Streptophila uh, from several uh, batches that I was able to groom and grow. This used to be just green, but look at how it changed the leaf patterns. So there's this a uh, yellow uh, whitish line coming through the middle of the leaves. Uh, generally, I would call that this is a poor variegation, but these three leaves is uh, these three leaves are very promising. I mean, if I would be able to grow pups coming from the uh, leaf sheet, and hopefully it would get some variegation too. Right now, it has a single pop, but all I can see is just green. So the thing about variegated plants, if you're not, uh, if you don't have the eye. To see if it's uh, worth keeping the same problem that I had before when I have no idea on earth what validation is all about I used to throw plants that looks like this I used to throw plants that looked like this uh, I thought it was a they're starting to co uh, turn yellow because of some kind of uh, disease or pest or anything so I just throw the, them well, poor plants. I didn't realize I was throwing a fortune. And eventually, lucky that even though the few remaining greens that I kept for long uh, stayed with me, it's a good thing that the recessive genes were able to show that thing called variegation. So what's so uh, exciting about variegation? So if you're a hardcore plant collector, you would know what variegation is. So this is how you uh, select plants. You really have to take a look at the leaf pattern, shape, and etc. So that's just about that uh, about variegation. Thank you for watching.